like, share, and subscribe to Live for Love TV. Straight. Like, share, and subscribe. Live for Love TV. Oh. Welcome back to Live for Love TV. Today's the 28th day, the second month of the 22nd year inside the 21st century. Hope everyone's doing well out there. We're back at the Ukraine-Russia situation. Very interesting situation. It seems to be intensifying now. And um, obviously we know from the media we get from the Western press that, you know, the Russians are losing tanks and people every day and the Ukrainians are losing nobody almost. You know, that's it's back to the old Vietnam, um, Vietnam conundrum where it seemed like one side was losing, all of a sudden it turned around because we were getting false information. But what's interesting to me is the UK right now are looking into Russian billionaires in, U in the UK and they, they call it Russian dirty money. Amazing. So as soon as the war starts, all of a sudden, all this money that's in England, in these banks, all the money from the Russians that are in these houses in Mayfair and Belgradia and all the rich parts of um, London and, and, and surrounding counties, have all of a sudden it's become dirty money. Didn't they know it was dirty money before? Of course they did. Because they, they, there's no one that deals with more dirty money than the UK. And other countries, you know, alongside who claim that the Russians' money is dirty. Whose money is clean? I don't know. All I know is that for them to now be harping on about Russian dirty money and what they're going to do, and this is, this, is, this is silly. And if you're a young person and you're listening to this, don't get taken in by all of this propaganda. Because if it was dirty money, it's been dirty money all the time. And if it's dirty money all the time, why didn't they do something about it all the time? Why does Russia have to go into the Ukraine with tanks and missiles before they realize that this money is so dirty it has to be, get, it has to be gotten out of, um, you know, out of the UK? And probably all the other European countries are going to start coming out with similar arguments. So, it's, you know, as I said, when you're listening to prop the propaganda, and this is what a lot of people call news, news that we listen to, it's really nothing but propaganda. It's just you as a person arguing on your behalf about everything you do is right and everybody, everything that people you don't like are doing is wrong. That's, that's basically what propaganda is. Everybody uses propaganda in peacetime and in wartime. In wartime, propaganda is ramped up. You see right now the, the uh, European Union is banning the TV stations in Russia or the, from Russia that are in Europe because they claim that they don't want any, anybody giving propaganda towards the Russians in their part of the world and, and, and weakening their, their um, democracy. Here you go. So when you think you're listening to news and when people come on, whether it's Live for Love TV or other channels and they want to argue these points with you about this point and that point that they heard on the news, it's like you're just listening to a propaganda argument, not a news argument, not a fair, truthful argument, just something that people propaganda. I like people who are, who are honest. We just say, we don't like them, we don't like their way of life. Whether they're good or bad, I don't care. We just don't like them and we're going to fight them to the end. I like that. A bit more like a Winston Churchill style of, of um, thing. Remember what Winston Churchill said? He said, um, democracy is the, best of, is the best of a lot of bad ideas. So basically, he didn't like democracy any more than anybody else did, but he couldn't think of a better one. So he just said, it's the best of the worst, you know? So... I like, I like people who are more straight talking. I don't like all this pretending and, you know, we, we're, we're doing good and they're doing bad. They've got dirty money. Whose money is clean? Look how far back European money goes back to slavery, colonialism, theft around the world. It's the same money going round and round and being turned over. How can it be clean? How do you clean money like that? All this money that we're talking about, whether it's Russian, European money, American money, if the Russian money is dirty, then all of their monies are dirty. Anyway, see you soon. Take care. Live for Love TV.